Okay, so what we're going to be doing is uh, pulling all of the power steering components out of the car. So we've got our power steering pump um, along with the pulley, uh, the belt that's connected to the harmonic balancer. We've got our high pressure hose that travels all the way towards the back of the car and connects to the rack and pinion. Um, and then we've got obviously our power steering reservoir that houses our fluid. So with that, we've got our big hose right here. We've got our small hose right here connected to the hard lines that run up to the front. It's connected to this little cooler piece on the inside of the bumper. And then we've got our second hard line that's gonna travel up towards the back of the car. And that's where these two are gonna meet right here. So these are the lines that we're gonna end up looping actually. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. There's no, uh, I mean, first or last process that you really need to do this. Honestly, I would start with the reservoir so you can kind of get rid of all the fluid. And then we've got this entire bracket right here that's bolted to the uh, engine bay. I want to say those, I don't know, look like they're 14s, somewhere along those lines. So probably two 14-inch bolts right here that we're just going to go ahead and pull that all off and leave this connected. All right, so I've got my catch can because I'm going to go ahead and drain this, my pliers, my 10 millimeter socket and wrench, and uh, my 14 millimeter. And those are all the tools I think I'm basically gonna need to get this thing going. So I'm gonna pull this guy, just slip it right up and out, and we're gonna drain it into our catch can pan. So I've got my reservoir out. I went ahead and uh, disconnected my hard lines. There's a 10 millimeter bolt right there to disconnect it. Uh, there's one right here, as you saw me undoing. There's also one right here up top. Uh, this one has a ground to it, so make sure you put your ground back exactly how it was. Now here's this useless bracket. We can go ahead and rip that out as, of the car as well. There's three bolts, one on each side, so you can go ahead and take that out. Um, and then I went ahead and already removed two bolts to my high pressure hose then I've got just my um, obviously harness that's bolted to uh, the bracket so I went ahead and removed that 10 millimeter bolt so now we're gonna go ahead and undo this bracket right here um, that way we can loosen it up take tension off the belt remove the belt and pull that all out of the way Okay, so my original plan didn't work because these bolts are a little bit too tight. So what I had to do actually was um, go ahead and remove the power steering pump itself. Uh, there is a 12 millimeter bolt that goes right through here. There's a 12 millimeter nut that goes right through here. And then you have to obviously release this nut right here. It's also a 12 millimeter and it'll relieve tension off of the power steering pump. So now that it's all off, I can go ahead and just pull it, remove it. There are one, two, and three bolts right under here. I can't really get it with my phone, but you get the idea. These are the three bolts that we're gonna completely remove to pull off this bracket. There is one tiny little one from the heat shield right here. That's just a little 10, no biggie right there. Okay, so I ripped the the front bumper off so that we can get this little cooler piece out. There is just a single 10 millimeter right there. If you come over here, there's a single 10 millimeter right there too. You're gonna have to use a flathead and just uh, unscrew these flathead bolts and that'll relieve tension off the, uh, I don't know, whatever this thing's called, just so you can pull the hose off. Um, and then right in here against the wall, there's one more 10 millimeter. Not this one, but it's right against the wall. There we go. So you have to do that too. Um, and then you should basically be able to pull all of these hard lines up to where it meets the soft line right about right there. What's up guys, I'm Yoda Hoon and today I'm gonna be working on finishing up the power steering delete on Garrett's Prelude, um, I believe he left off, he removed the pump, 
he got the lines disconnected and he cut them. So what's left to do for the power steering delete is we need to go underneath the car and loop the lines together. And I'm gonna show you which lines to loop to where. And then all we have to do is remove these lines so that they're out of the way. And that'll be it. So we're gonna go underneath the car right now and I'm gonna show you what you need to loop to where. Okay, so we are underneath the car here and right here is your power steering rack. And these are the four lines that you have coming out of it. The lines you'll need to loop together are this outer one over here is gonna loop to this one here. And these two here are gonna go together. So what I'm gonna do right now is put a piece of tape on these two, just so that I know once I cut them that those two need to go together. And uh, after that, I will cut a small piece of each of these off and I'm going to take it to the parts store and find the best fitting hose. I think I'm going to cut them all straight across right here and cut this one here. And if I want to change that later, I might. But we're going to start with that. I'm going to use a multi-tool to cut them. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm going to try cutting it with my multi-tool, which I have, I put it on a, like a right angle or whatever. This is a metal blade, so I should cut it. I've never actually used this to cut anything like this, so we'll see. Okay, so the multi-tool worked pretty well for cutting those. Um, got a little messy for sure. I had to move the camera because I didn't want the power steering fluid to spray all over my GoPro. But there they are, they're all cut. Um, we'll go ahead and get these lines out and then I'll cut another piece off of them and take them to the parts store. So here's what the lines look like once you get them looped. For the bigger line, I used a 3 8 line. And for the smaller one right here, I used a quarter inch. Um, it's kind of hard to show this underneath the car. Sorry, that's my creeper making that noise. But you want to try to get these lines to where they're not kinked. You can see this one's almost kinked a little bit, but it's okay the way it is. The little line's a little bit uh, firmer of a line. It's easier to bend it without kinking it. Uh, but we got quarter inch line here, three eighths line here. These two loop together and these outer two loop together. And that's all it is. So the harder part is gonna be getting all the lines that were mounted up here. There's various mounts and everything all throughout this that you're gonna have a hard time getting to. But once you get them all out, you'll have a little more free space. So probably the hardest part of this job is gonna be getting all these old lines out. You can see I had to cut them all multiple times to get them all out. Um, and I even actually left a small short piece in there that I wasn't able to get to um, without like lifting the motor up some. So a lot of lines that will be out of your way um, looping the lines is easy, cutting the lines is easy, but getting all of these out is gonna be the hardest part of removing your power steering. So the reason you loop the lines is to keep some fluid in there for lubricant for the power steering rack. Um, so you don't actually have to have that fluid in there. 
and you can leave the lines open and it will work, but your power steering rack might not last as long because there's nothing in there to lubricate it. So with the lines looped, when you turn side to side and the rack moves side, side to side, it lets that fluid move from one side of the power steering rack to the other side and it keeps it in there. So that's the reason you loop them. Um, like I said, if, if you don't want to loop the lines, you don't have to, you can cut the lines and it will, and remove everything and it will work fine. It'll just be like you don't have power steering, but your rack might not last as long. So if you want to loop the lines if you can. So after all is said and done and everything's fully removed, you're talking all the bolts, all the hard lines, all the fluid, the power steering pump, the pulley, um, even the little container containing the fluid, everything, it's somewhere around 15 pounds. So you can look for about 15 pounds less weight on your prelude, which is nice. Plus you get a little bit more torque without having that extra pulley and the longer belt that has to lube, which is real nice as well. I do want to give a nice shout out to Jason over at Yodahoon. If you haven't, head over to his channel, check him out, give him a like, give him a subscribe. Be sure to check, check back because we are going to be putting out more content on multiple cars. So uh, we'll see you guys soon.